and good evening, depending on when you're watching this. Welcome to another video. Decided to do an unboxing since this is a package that was meant to come. What was it? Thursday, the day after Christmas, and arrived later, so I couldn't open it at the same time as the others when I was doing the unboxing and Christmas haul video. So it's from a place I like to get comics from. Hall of Justice Comics and Collectibles up in Denver, Colorado. Just a small little four hour drive away from me. So, I had a pretty good day yesterday and all that. Um, I joined uh, JB on Discovery Bay and his uh, pop up marathon. I was there for actually most of it it went for just under seven hours i think i was there for at least six of it if not uh six and a half sold after sold after selling fees are taken out of my uh sold after the selling fees are taken out of what was made made a profit in a sense of 135 dollars once everyone pays up still have a couple Two people that need to pay, but that 135 will go a long way in helping certain things out. I hate the noise, the tape. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Got Wonder Woman number 83, a variant cover like this. Uh, just like the pose and the cover, this pinup look. How her uh, red section almost disappears <laughs> into the background. So, nice cover. Not a fan of Wonder Woman stories. I buy them mainly for the covers. So, really cool. Dark Age number four from Red Five. The first two issues of this were awesome, awesome. Remind me of that TV show Revolution where the power goes out and you know people are living like they were in the mid 1800s, you know, when the Industrial Revolution was going off, kind of starting up and all that. But the last um, issue three, when they introduced an alien aspect of it, like it was aliens responsible for the disappearance of all metal. I just, I didn't like that. So if this this issue for me is a make it or break it. If I don't, if I don't like where the story goes at the end of this issue, I am not getting another Dark Age book. So, which is in a sense kind of sad because I don't do independent books. You know, really, I prefer Marvel which is my bread and butter 95% and DC. So if I do not get, if I do not get, you know, Dark Age from here on out, I basically cut off my only true, true independent book. Because I guess um, Image is so big now, it's no longer could be considered independent. It's like, it's more like a third party you know, a minor third player, but still a third player, like PGX to CBCS or CGC. And finally, from them, since my comic book shop didn't have it, or was shorted, should I say, History of the Marvel Universe number six, the final issue. I like this cover a lot with uh, Captain Marvel, Black Panther, Jane Foster's Thor, Miles Morales, along with the bad guys, Doctor Doom, uh, Thanos, I'm guessing that's Ultron down there, and I do not know who this is, can't think of it. Sorry, early morning dogs woke me up and I couldn't go back to sleep because my back hurt. So, no longer a teenager so I can't spend hours and hours doing something the wrong way 
and expect not to pay a consequence. Even though I'm not a, even though I'm not an old man by any means, I'm still only 30, soon to be 31. I'm still a young man, but body no longer will put up with certain things. And two books that didn't sell from my from the from yesterday when I was in the pop-up shop, but I sold a few of my books in their place to help my wife out with um or help you know raise money from I'll raise money and all that. So I decided to swap out a couple of my books for a couple of these books since I didn't have them in my collection. Fantastic Four two thirty seven. Really, really cool. And Fantastic Four 260. A hypothetical death of Doctor Doom, at least. There's something else in it I can't quite put my finger on. But, anyway. That's that. But yeah, I had a very, very fun time on JB's channel you know discovery bay you know we had you know sold a bunch of books and all that especially <laughs> my wife had a lot of uh george perez wonder woman's you know of the 80s and all that and really you know really really nice covers and all that really cool you know cool thing and all that and they were very popular especially to from a guy from the uk so really really cool so yeah, I just need a couple more people to pay up and, you know, until then I can wrap up and prep all the people who did pay. Because if you don't pay, it ain't going anywhere. <laughs> you know, fair is fair. But, uh, anyway, it was a good night. Definitely a good night, or a good day, should I say. A lot of fun. Don't know if I'll make the next one, because I think he wanted to do, JB wanted to do this, like, an every month kind of a thing. But, uh... I don't know if uh, <laughs> I can do that every single month unless I actually buy uh, actually buy books just for this, you know, which could be an option, I guess, you know, kind of a specter kind of thing, buy a dollar books and sell them for three. So who knows? Who knows what I'll end up doing? So, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun, and I can't wait to, uh, do it again. I might actually do something like it again, or I might actually try to dip my toes into an actual um, auction kind of thing, like they do on Big Lion Cat, on Thorough, Thorough's channel, and the New York Warriors, and other other uh, channels like that. So I don't know. We'll have to see what I end up doing. So it's a lot of fun, and uh, I can't wait to get involved again, however I choose to do it. So. This has been a lot of fun. So, till next time, this is Mr. Comics 89 signing off. So, happy collecting everyone. See you later.